Matthew, mainstream hip-hop artists have seemed to develop their own Christian theology in mainstream hip-hop music. Artists like Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole regularly mention God in their lyrics, even though mainstream rap music and the black church seem to be on opposite ends of the spectrum. Religious references still remain commonplace. Many churchgoers would say that this is blasphemous and disrespectful to God and the church, as the references to drug use and sales, murder, wants and sex, and other problematic aspects of the music still remain strong. Do you believe that there is a cross-section between mainstream hip-hop music and the black church? And if so, who is to blame? for the large gap between the church and the music? Thank you for that great question, sir. So with that three minutes, I might be moving kind of fast. I'm going to try not to go too fast. Um, so, so one thing that I would like to point out, because I think it's important to keep this in mind, we have to break some of these words up. When we're speaking about hip hop, and we're speaking about mainstream hip hop, we're speaking about church, we're speaking about the black church, these are two different things, respectively. Uh, hip hop in and of itself, for those of us who are not aware, is a culture that uh, covers several different elements. I'll spare you four elements, but music can be thought of as the vocal component of it. I've heard hip hop described once as the movement of knowledge. If you think of to be hip to something is to know something, and a hop is to move. So this is the movement of the awareness of the people in the moment and in their current day and in their current plight. Um, however, we're talking about the crossroads of hip hop in the church. So here's a couple of things that, that, that where church and hip hop meet possibly simply by virtue of having in common people of African descent, descent excuse me, who have been displaced. One of those is the oral tradition. Both are a place from which the oral tradition continues. There is social organization and protests. Under both of these banners, people of this descent have an ability to, to organize amongst themselves and to protest against uh, the experience that they're living under. There's also a space for a declaration of cultural identity, which would be very important in a uh, capitalist or a colonialist uh, state, or a state that is, is pushing a colonial agenda. There is also the exchange of esoteric knowledge through coded language. This happens as much in hip hop as it does within these very pews. Um, and the repurposing of oppressed bodies, of, of being able to use these bodies that have been downtrodden and beaten in a different way, and perhaps even liberate yourself to a certain extent by how you choose to use your bodies in response to what's happening. Now, when we talk about mainstream, I wanted to look up the definition of mainstream. What mainstream speaks to is the ideas and attitudes or the activities regarded as normal or conventional or regarding the dominant trend. And when we're, in a, we're, we're on a land that was stolen, and uh, we are people, largely, or descendants of people that were stolen and, and used for labor, then the dominant trend will probably or more than likely respect the capitalism that is here and that keeps this whole system running, as well as the colonial ideas that brought this upon in the first place. Uh, the question was, who's to blame? Now, when we get to talking about blame, I get a little uncomfortable because I, I don't like to think of things in terms of who's to blame. If, you, if I say music is to blame, oh, Lord, 30 seconds. If I say music is to blame, then it lets you guys off the hook. If I say church is to blame, it lets music off the hook. So the real question is, who is responsible? So since I only have 30 seconds, I'm going to jump to the end. Um, I would like to say, because I know who I'm speaking to, who is responsible is every elected member of the clergy and or lay that can complete this sentence. From the mouth of babes comes. I heard a couple of y'all know. All right. I'll stop there.